Get ready to witness raw electricity in action, searing its way through wood and leaving behind incredible lightning-like Lich Limburg figures. Today, we're taking a block of box elder and turning it into a stunning face, then supercharging it with high voltage magic to carve in a nature-inspired fractal design. And trust me, you'll want to stick around. The sparks are just getting started. Our first mission, getting this blank perfectly round and smooth. This is more than just prep work, it's essential. Because later, when we sand, we want to keep every crackling detail of those Lichtenberg burns. The smoother the surface now, the more those electrified patterns will shine later. This blank was rough turned a while ago, and as it dried, a few cracks showed up near the top. We'll just trim off the flawed section and work with a clean, solid canvas. It's all about making sure the final piece is flawless and ready for the storm we're about to unleash. What I didn't expect. I'd be doing this whole thing twice, but hey, I wasn't about to rob you of watching the first round of electrifying madness. So sit back and enjoy the sparks fly in what we'll call round one of burning the wood. The original plan Mount the piece on a slow turner and pour in ghost purple resin to highlight those burn patterns. But zoom in and you'll see the surface is way too rough. When I went to sand it down, I started erasing the most delicate, dramatic parts of the burns. Not an option. Time for plan B. New game plan. First, I need to strip away the resin, and this time I'm going to sand the surface silky smooth, and then hit it with the high voltage electricity. This way, we lock in all that raw electricity detail in a clean, polished canvas, giving us the best of both worlds. Off camera, I sanded everything down to the final grit, then took things up a notch. I cranked up the voltage and went all in with extra electro burns. Now let me be clear, this is not just a cool visual, it's very dangerous. We're talking 10,000 volts tearing through the wood. If someone were to touch this mid burn, their muscles would lock up and they wouldn't be able to let go. That's why I'm standing 15 feet back on a rubber mat using a dead man switch, all to stay safe. Too many people online try this without knowing the risks. Don't be one of them. Be smart, be safe, respect the voltage. In round one, I only went with three burns. Not bad, but I was definitely playing it safe. The silver lining of having a do-over, I get to dial it up to 11. This time I'm going with 8 carefully placed burns, each one designed to amplify the drama and show off the potential of this electrifying technique, making this piece truly come alive. With that process finally done, after two tries, it's time to finish turning. We'll hollow the center and give the rim a smooth, refined curve that flows beautifully with the design. 
This is where the piece really starts coming together. Elegant form meets electrified chaos. With the turning done, it's time to seal the wood. This step locks in the grain and those stunning burn patterns, setting the stage for a polished, glossy finish that really makes the entire piece pop. Since this is a vase, it's got to hold water. So we're heading back to the slow turner to coat the inside with a waterproof resin. This not only protects the wood, but gives the interior a sleek, glassy finish that ties the whole piece together. Now, let's give this piece its signature. We're heading over to the laser to etch in our maker's mark, a final touch that stamps this vase as one of a kind, handcrafted and proudly made. Before we set up the vacuum chuck to tackle the base, we need to trim off extra material. This gives us a clean, balanced foundation to work with for the final finishing touches. Wow! I'm cleaning up the bottom now, adding a slight recess so the maker's mark can be secured without affecting how the vase stands. It's a small detail, but it makes all the difference when blending form and function. And now, the final steps. We glue in the maker's mark, and then we polish the entire vase with a rich wax finish. I want to sincerely thank you for sticking with me through this electrifying journey. Now, enjoy some close-up shots of the final finished piece because this one was absolutely worth the voltage.